good tiny machines with huge potential. That's the Mac Mini in a sentence. But here's the thing. The Mac Mini's power is only half the story. The other half is how you hook it up. In the next 16 minutes, I'll walk you through 10 docking stations that transform a compact Mac Mini into a full workstation. And I'll reveal which one beats the rest for creators, which is the best budget steal, and which one you should avoid at all costs. Stay until the end. The surprise pick at number 2 outperforms many premium docks, and I'll show the exact port map you need for multiple 4K monitors. Don't blink, you'll want to bookmark this. A docking station is more than a cluster of ports. Think of it as a traffic controller for your desk. It decides how data, video, and power flow between your Mac Mini and everything else. Monitors, fast SSDS, Ethernet, audio gear, even a charging phone. The right dock gives you reliable display output, fast wired networking, quiet cooling, and enough power delivery that your laptop or devices charge while you work. The wrong dock leaves you juggling cables and wondering why your external drive stalls during large transfers. In this section, I'll quickly explain the four things you must check before buying. Display support. How many monitors and what are the resolutions? Check bandwidth. Thunderbolt 4 versus Thunderbolt 5 and gigabits per second versus gigabytes per second. Power delivery, how many watts to the host, and practical build details of size, ports on the front, and firmware security. Keep those four in mind as we move through each pick. I ranked these 10 docks by three weighted criteria. Real-world connectivity, 40%, display and data bandwidth, 35%, and value plus build quality, 25%. Real-world connectivity means I prioritize the docks that let you connect dual 4K at 60 Hz or a single 8K at 30 Hz without driver gymnastics, plus stable Ethernet for video calls and large file transfers. Bandwidth focuses on the connection standards. Thunderbolt 4 runs at 40 gigabits per second, Thunderbolt 5 doubles the theoretical ceiling, and USB 4 slash USB-C are close cousins with varied feature sets. Value factors in price versus ports, physical durability, and extras like SD card readers and secure lock slots. Throughout each product segment, I'll call out exactly who it's best for – creatives, IT pros, field workers, or students – and why. The Corsair TBT200 is a compact, reliable Thunderbolt 4 dock designed for users who need fast-wired networking and broad peripheral support. It gives you a 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet port for quicker local network transfers, four Thunderbolt 4 ports, one host-facing, three downstream, and front-facing convenience with an SD card slot, audio jack, and two USB ports, one USB-C for moderate charging, and one USB-A for accessories. MacBook users benefit from up to 96-watt power delivery when no downstream devices are drawing heavy power. For creatives working with large video files or multiple external SSDES, the TBT200 balances fast file transfers, monitor support, and the everyday niceties that keep your desk tidy. Visuals to show, close-ups of Ethernet jack, TB4 ports, SD reader, and a quick file transfer overlay. Pluggable's Thunderbolt 4 plus USB 4 HDMI dock is compact but surprisingly capable. And this is the surprise pick I teased earlier. It packs three Thunderbolt 4 ports rated at 40 gigabits per second each, plus several USB-A ports and a 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet jack. What truly stands out is that it manages to deliver fast host charging, up to 96 watts certified, while still supporting multiple external devices. Realistic power delivery will drop if you attach downstream TB devices, but the trade-off is worth it for many users who want raw connectivity in a small chassis. Practical use cases include students with an M1 slash M2 laptop who also need to hook up a fast external SSD and run screen recording. If you're on a limited budget but want real Thunderbolt power, this one sneaks ahead of several pricier options.
The new Q's 12-in-1 USB-C docking station is all about broad compatibility and convenience. It supports dual 4K displays and comes with a large spread of ports, HDMI, USB-A, SDTF card readers, Ethernet, and a 96-watt power adapter that supplies charging to a laptop while powering the rest of the dock. Unlike Thunderbolt-only docks that sometimes require specific chipsets, this unit is built to be driver-free on Windows, Mac, and Chrome OS, which makes it a great option for mixed-device households or offices. The trade-off is that it leans on USB-C protocols rather than full Thunderbolt bandwidth, so extreme workloads heavy multi-drive transfers will perform best on TB-equipped docks. Use this when you want the broadest compatibility with minimal setup hassle. The GE Walkley Mac Mini docking station is tailored to the Mac Mini user who wants to expand ports and turn the Mac Mini into a neat, desk-friendly hub. It offers multiple USB ports, SD and micro SD slots, and flexible video output modes so you can switch between extended and mirrored displays. While it doesn't run three separate screens as independent displays, it covers the everyday needs – external drives, camera card readers, and extra USB accessories without constant cable swapping. It supports Mac Mini models from recent years and even works with some Windows laptops, making it an affordable, focused solution if your goal is to recover lost ports and keep things tidy. If desk real estate is your enemy, the Vadir Mac Mini Stand, an 8-in-1 dock, solves two problems at once. It lifts the Mac Mini into a vertical orientation to save space and adds a cluster of ports for daily use. One or two USB 3.0 ports, a USB-C data-only port, SD-TF slots, and a 3.5mm audio jack cover the core needs, and there's room to mount a 2.5-inch HDD or SSD inside the stand perfect for turning old drives into external storage. Note, the USB-C on many of these stands is often data only, not PD for charging. This dock is best for users who want a neat vertical footprint and occasional external drive access rather than raw Thunderbolt level throughput. Belkin's Thunderbolt 3 docking station is proof that older standards still have value. If you're working from a mix of older Thunderbolt 3 laptops and current machines, Belkin's unit gives reliable dual 4K output, a single cable connection for charging and display, and solid Ethernet support. Thunderbolt 3 runs at 40 gigabits per second, which still handles display and external SSD demands for many creators and office professionals. The Belkin dock tends to be compact and user-friendly, making it perfect for users who travel or move between desks. If you need full Thunderbolt 5 performance, it's not the latest, but for most workflows, it's stable, affordable on the secondary market, and broadly compatible. The CalDigit TS5 is aimed at professionals who need maximum throughput and versatility. As a Thunderbolt 5 dock, it opens higher theoretical bandwidths and more future-proof display options. It typically includes multiple TB5 ports, an SD card reader, and a set of high-performance i-slash-o designed around heavy data workflows, multiple high-speed drive connections, studio peripherals, and dual 6K or multi-4K monitor setups. If you're editing large video projects, doing real-time color grading, or moving terabytes on a deadline, a TS5 class dock gives you that consistent performance and PCIe-level access when you need it. The trade-off premium price, and the need for TB5-capable hosts to fully exploit that bandwidth. Kensington's SD 5000 T5 focuses on the professional market with security and manageability in mind. It typically features multiple Thunderbolt 5 ports for fast connectivity, HDMI outputs or DisplayPort paths for high-resolution monitors, and a 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet jack for stable wired networking. What makes Kensington stand out is the IT-friendly features, a Kensington lock slot, firmware protections, and sometimes a front-facing fingerprint scanner or management software support. If you manage workstations in finance, government, or corporate environments where data security and manageability are non-negotiable, this dock combines fast connectivity with enterprise-level controls.
For the person who can't be confined to an office, the Fusion Dock Pro 3 brings a rugged twist. With an IP54 rating, dust and water splash resistance, reinforced USB-A ports with locks, and shock-resistant housing, this dock is built for on-site production, construction, or field photography. It commonly provides HDMI 2.1 and DisplayPort 1.4 outputs, multiple high-power USB-C ports for fast charging, and 95-watt power delivery so you can charge while you work. It's heavier and pricier than a desk-only dock, but if you need durable gear that survives bumps, spills, and rough travel, the Fusion Dock fills that niche cleanly. Rounding out the list, the Cable Matters Thunderbolt 5 Dock gives many of the TB5 benefits at a friendlier price point. Expect two TB5 ports, numerous USB-A and USB-C ports at 10 gigabits per second for accessories, dual 4K display support, or single 8K capability, and a 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet port. The key here is value. It brings TB5 era features into reach for students, freelancers, and small business owners who want near top tier performance without the top tier sticker. Remember, quiet cooling and firmware stability are often the small details that differentiate a good budget dock from a frustrating one. Check user reviews in your region before buying. Here's how to think about each dock in one sentence. Best creative all-rounder, Corsair TBT200, with balanced ports plus fast Ethernet. Best for surprise value, pluggable TB4, USB 4 dock. This is compact, capable, affordable. Best plug-and-play is new Q12 in 1, driver-free compatibility for mixed device households. Best Mac Mini specific, Jiwakli, is focused for port expansion for the Mac Mini. Best compact stand plus dock, the Vadir saves desk space, adds practical ports. Best legacy compatibility, Belkin TB3 dock, stable for older TB3 gear. Best pro performance, CalDigit TS5, TB5 level throughput and expandability. Best enterprise, Kensington SD 5000 T5, security and manageability. Best rugged use, Fusion Dock Pro 3, built for outdoor field work. Best budget TB5, Cable Matters TB5, TB5 features without premium price. Match your workflow first. Video editors and data movers need TB5 or TS5-like bandwidth. Office users and coders often do fine with TB4 or high-quality USB-C. Students and writers frequently prioritize value and compactness. Installation is usually plug-and-play, but here are pro tips. Always connect the dock to a strong wall power source first for maximum PD output. Use manufacturer-supplied Thunderbolt cables for guaranteed speeds. Avoid chaining many powered TB devices if you expect full 96-watt host charging. Downstream devices will reduce available power. For multiple monitors, check whether the dock uses DisplayPort Alt Mode or MST, and whether your Mac requires DisplayLink drivers, rare on recent Mac OS versions but possible on certain docks. Keep firmware updated. Docs receive stability and security updates. And if you rely on quiet audio or recording, place the dock away from your microphone or use a separate USB hub for noisy peripherals to avoid electrical interference. If I had to pick three and keep one on my desk right now, CalDigit TS5. If your budget allows and you need future-proof throughput, this is the most capable performer. Pluggable Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 dock. The surprise value pick. Small, fast, and more capable than its price suggests. Corsair TBT200. Balanced, practical, and excellent for creatives who need a solid mix of ports and decent Ethernet. If you're on a shoestring and want TB 5-ish features, Cable Matters is a sensible alternative. For fieldwork, pick Fusion Dock Pro 3. Which dock fits your desk setup? Comment with your Mac Mini model and what you need to connect. I'll recommend the exact port map you should buy and even pin the most useful replies. If you want a printable comparison chart and a what-to-buy checklist I'll upload, type guide in the comments. 
I'll post it based on demand. Hit like if this helped you cut through the specs, subscribe for deep dive setup videos, and ring the bell. I'll be doing a real world speed test and a multi monitor walkthrough in the next video. Thanks for watching. Now go make that Mac Mini unstoppable.